guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this video on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, so for day four, I believe this is, of the 12 days of Christmas, as well as this will be included in my Vlogmas videos for 2019, we are going to try something. Now, in theory, and you know how that works for me. It sounds like a good idea, but we shall see. And I had picked these up in Target during the summer and they are called a uh, name plate adhesive pockets. And actually uh, they sell these or something similar to this on Amazon. So I'll link that below. But what I thought we'd attempt in today's craft video is to make some shaker either covers or even like a dashboard. And I think for, for this purpose, we'll just do it here. So let me do some lettering of my name. Alrighty, now the reason why I wanted to put that first is because this the entire thing of this is adhesive and so I want to make sure that whatever is going to go down goes down first because I won't be able to do anything on top of this. Now if this looks familiar, this is actually the skinny classic planner that my friend Kelly had sent to me as well as D. So what I've done is I put them on expander rings that I had in my stash and this first part is the Hobby Lobby version. This is the one from Kelly. And then the second part, and the reason why I needed to put it on expander rings, uh, this is the one from D, and this is the original Happy Planner version. And if you're interested in the, the differences between the two, I'll link that video below. So what I'll do is I'll take this off here because we're gonna be doing on this. Now, this one I assume because, oh, well, let me backtrack. I'm going to be doing on this one because, I don't know if you're like me, but because my Happy Nietzsche, Skinny Classic, Fobonichi, whatever you're calling it, I, I migrate months out because it gets too chunky because I have several things in it. I'm not going to have an entire uh, year's worth in my own planner. So if you're like me and you only have two or three months at a time, um, your January may not always be your front cover. This page here probably will. Another option would be to do it on this here, but again, I don't, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so I wouldn't recommend that. Once we go through it together, then I might give you some ideas. Because these are fairly new, at least the planners of the half sheet classic sized Happy Notes, you may not want to ruin that, but if you have multiple half sheet planners or notebooks, then you may want to test it on that. Because again, if you don't switch out your cover and you make that into like a um, shaker dashboard sort of thing, then you're always going to see it. If you put it on whatever your first page is, again, that's the whole mentality behind this, is it's going to be the first thing that you see, even if you migrate some of the months out. It's long winded to get to that. Alrighty, so uh, that's a bit plain. Kelly also sent me this Womankind sticker, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find something in here. 
And because I like the combination of pink and green, it's actually my favorite color combination. I'm gonna put that right there. Again, if you are going to decorate whatever page you're going to do, and it doesn't have to be the hello page, it can be just a, a page you've made, it could be something you've laminated, but whatever you're going to do, because this is clear, uh, you're gonna to wanna to do first. And because I know that this is taller than what I need, I'm actually gonna kinda of mark it so that I can cut it. And right there, that seems good. Because this um, height is 9.25 or nine and a quarter. So I, I definitely wanna make sure that this is shorter than that. And because I can't cut straight to save my life, um, I should be able to get through this on my cutter. And you're probably seeing the fatal flaw here, but I think, I think we can work around that. Yep, that cuts nicely. Alrighty. So, now because I want to be able to see the back of this, uh, I'm using glitter that is fairly neutral, uh, and I'm also not going to put anything in here, because you could um, cut to size a piece of scrapbook paper, or you can put some journaling cards in here, or you can just go pretty ham on this, but I want to be able to see through it. So between those two things, it's just gonna basically zhuzh up this. Although again, if you're making something from scratch, you can use some really heavyweight cardstock in whatever your color is, and then insert a whole bunch of things, because this is a pocket, and that's what's going to hold our glitter. Now, I don't wanna shake this directly into here. So this is a cap of one of the primer mists that I use and so I'm just going to put it in there and very carefully just pour some out now I have I do have glitter in other colors and whatnot but this was just right up there above me and also it's pretty neutral but you can make this as elaborate as you want to and the reason why I want to pour it in here is because I just I feel there's a little bit more stability um, using that and then pinch it open so that you've got a pretty wide mouth there. And I'm, I'm sorry for any glare. And then just pour that in. And I don't know how it's pulling on camera, but it is this stuff from Walmart. It's like a white holographic, but I think it shows up as pink. And because the, whiting, uh, the background is white, that's why you can't see through it. Now before I stick it here, because I think it might be easier on this thing, I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to run some double-sided tape. And this will be fiddly, because I've done something similar to this before at the top. And so what you want to do is you want to try to get as close to the edge. I'm hoping that you guys can see this. As you can, both to the edge at the top as well as the edge on the side. Now we will have some precautionary measures just in case it doesn't line up all the way to the side here, because this one does not, that will help us with that. Now rub that in really well, because you want a good adhesion. And I managed to crinkle mine, but that's okay. You guys won't be filming this, so you can take a little bit longer. And then before I actually tear it away, and I wanna make sure that my glitter stays down there, um, I have this little super glue thing here, and I'm actually gonna run a bead of that as well, especially taking care on that side. And so I'll run a bead, or at least I'll try. 
across there. Paying special attention to that corner there. And really we're just trying to make it so that our glitter does not come out, especially since it's going to be in our planner. Um, we don't want glitter all over the place. I'm gonna use the pen just because I want to lift that paper, but keep the adhesive down. But I don't wanna press it down because I don't want that super glue to press just yet. Again, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see this because it's clear and white. Okay, so I'm going to press that down. and really kind of work that in. Now you're probably, I don't know if you can see it, but I certainly can. I can see the tape and I certainly can see the glue. Now this side, because I had pinched the back of it, I don't know if you can see that, um, it's not lying flat as well as I had more ad adhesive on this side than I did on this side. So again, if you guys are gonna do this, I would definitely recommend to take your time. And then, yeah, and I also wouldn't recommend shaking up so the glitter sticks to the glue. <laughs> I think you guys get my point. But then I'm going to peel this off and then try to be careful on how I put this down because I want to avoid the punches and I want to make sure it's not too high. And that's relatively straight. And then to hide up some of that, I mean, we all have tons of washi, so why not use it? Although it's not that noticeable. I still, still wanna add a pop of something. And so I'm going to frame out and this washi uh, my friend Kelly sent to me. So we're just gonna frame this out. And I'm thinking this will be fairly durable only because the plastic on it is, is fairly thick. So it's, it's more than something like this, because this is fairly thin plastic. This one, there's there's definitely a weight to it. Now, I, I certainly would not recommend, if you have anything sharp, that you have it near this, because, I mean, even though the top is glued and we're using double-sided tape and we're using washi to just add an, an extra layer, the plastic still can be punctured. Of course, the scissor is as dull as it can be. And then the rest, the reason why I'm framing it out is because then it looks intentional as to why we have washi versus, you know, having something hidden. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then this one, because it's thin tape, we can run it so that it doesn't touch the um, umbrellas. And just really rub that in. I think just for safety's sake, we'll do one more, because again, that's the only spot the glitter can come out of is at the top there, unless this is punctured. Because that um, planner stays here because it's just basically excess refill, um, I don't see why that it would. But now we have a cute little shaker and we can see through it, sort of. <laughs> I 
I kind of like that. This feels like it's it's not very sturdy, but then this normally doesn't come in and out like this, so I think it'll be okay. And then just pop that back on. And I mean, you, you certainly could uh, do this on every single one of your d divider tabs. It would bulk it up, but if you're like me and you only have a certain amount of months at any given time, then that would be a good way to keep the image on the back, but also just add a, a little bit of sparkle. For me, I think it makes the perfect sense on whatever this front cover is, whether it's the one that has your name on it or if you've made something. I don't necessarily think it'd be a good idea for here unless you're like me and this stays in a place where it won't get punctured by a pen or a pair of scissors or tweezers or something like that. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I have a bunch of these, these adhesive pockets that I purchased um, from Target. I might put some of these in my shop with some little pouches of glitter, although different kinds and maybe sell it as like a kit. It's not going to happen this year, but you know, it's something I'm thinking about. I don't know that the glue is doing anything. I think the double-sided tape is really what's keeping it together, and the glue did make it kind of, I don't know, I don't know that I like the effect of it. I just, I really wanted to give another barrier so that the stuff doesn't fall out. Um, but yeah. And I, I did want to show you, this is the uh, paper clip that I showed in another video with the paper flowers. And it finally, oh, but it's not clear. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some white on there. But I think this makes a darling little paper clip and this is actually quite firm. <laughs> I don't know if I could cut that, but it does clip at the top right there. Now, the silver is not so cute against all of this pinkiness, but I mean, it does make a cute little planner clip. And if you pull it up past the cover, I think that looks adorable. All right, guys, well, that is, I think, number four of my 12 Days of Christmas, also part of my Vlogmas post. Let me know what you think below. And again, um, I will link uh, the ones that I was able to find on Amazon if you are interested in making one of these. I just, when I saw it, I thought it'd be the perfect size for the Skinny Classic, Happy Nietzsche, Fobonichi, Happy Bullet Journal because of the width of it. All right, guys, that's it for me for now and as always aloha